This book covers the four months from the death of FDR and Truman becoming president through the surrender of Japan. The book focuses, naturally, on Truman. We get a bunch on his background, including how he participated in the machine politics of the time, his World War I service, how he became vice president, much to pretty much everyone's surprise. Not necessarily that he won the vice presidency, rather. Instead, how he received the nomination from the Democratic Party. Once we get into the presidency, after FDR's death, the book takes a slow, minute, and highly detailed look at the next four months. We get nearly a day-by-day, sometimes even hour-by-hour, analysis of just what Truman was doing, how the various crises in this deeply chaotic time came to his awareness, and how they were dealt with. The big ones are covered naturally. The atomic bomb, changing FDR's cabinet, the Potsdam Conference, that sort of thing. They're all handled in a decent enough manner. There's some analysis here I can quibble with, uh, but there's nothing too egregious. The author seems to have a bit of a thing for Truman. He has another book on Truman about the Truman-Dewey election, which I'll probably read shortly. I already have it here on the Kindle. Uh, I know the author more as from his auto racing book, Go Like Hell, on uh, Ferrari and Ford and the battles they had at Le Mans over the years. It's a pretty good history. There are places where it does seem to get bogged down in detail, like there's a surprising amount here on uh, the Italians and how the Italians and Albanians had a minor conflict, which the uh, U.S. Army basically had to step in and stop. Uh, How often will I be rereading this? It's probably a three to five year. I don't think it'll be any more than that. Uh, Truman is someone who... I have some interest in, but not necessarily a lot. Uh, 